Hey, it's Random Code here, and this is the next video in our full stack fruit application series. In the last video, I showcased the basic functionality of our front end. And I have now dockerized our React front end to have a full docker compose setup working with both our MySQL database, Spring Boot backend, and now React front end. And just to have a quick look, it is relatively simple. Inside my front end, Project, part of my project, I have added a Docker file, and the Docker file is relatively simple. We are running from a node based image. We define a working directory, so everything is going to be working from. We then copy all the content from our front end folder into our working directory. We then like, set up our dependencies. We then build our project. We then define that we are running into like an environment production. And we then run npx serve build to run our build project in a like a more production mode. So relatively simple. And this Docker file is then used by our Docker Compose YAML setup with a very simple front end service section, just simply pointing to our Docker file inside our front end. We then port forwarding port 3000 from inside the container, which is where React is open by default and then exposes it on port 3000 as well, allowing us to connect. And then set up a network. It doesn't really matter much, but it just defined that at least we're not allowed to connect to the backend, or not, not allowed to connect to the database, but it doesn't really matter much in this case because everything is connected to localhost. But for a future more complete setup, we might have some network functionality, but just added because why not? But don't worry too much about this. But to then just showcase, if we just quickly use, the Docker desktop environment, we can see we have our front end running on 3000 or exposing from inside the container 3000 to 3000 locally. We're running our backend from 8080 to 8080. And our database is not open and only connected directly from our backend. If we did a direct connection, which we didn't really do in this simple setup, we would be able to connect to our, from our front end to our backend. And as we did previously, our front end is just connected to our backend through localhost. And then in a more real scenario, we probably have some kind of URL. If we put it in some kind of like cloud environment, we'd have some kind of actually real endpoint we would like to connect our front end to our backend. Maybe like a, some kind of like an Nginx or some load balancer and multiple extra steps to ensure that we have the proper connections. Mm -hmm. But it then still allow us to have all the base functionality. We're still allowing to create new users, And we can edit the users, we can delete the users, and read the users, obviously. So still the same functionality. And just to showcase, we are then connecting our front end on localhost 3000 to our back end on localhost 8080, like this. So localhost 8080 slash users. And our front end is then also using this back end endpoint to access, for example, in this case, all our user information. And of course, we could add a lot of security to add maybe like some kind of access tokens or something like that. But this is very much the full Dockerized and full functional project. And I have quite a few videos showcasing most of the functionality. Otherwise, as always, there will be a link in the description to the complete GitHub project where you can have a look at everything you want yourself and feel free to pull it, fork it, and run it yourself to get a better understanding of how it works. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this relatively quick showcase of our Dockerization of the React frontend. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful 